Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're back on Easy Start 2, though this is a new load of it. Taking a look at the developer changes to the uh, Blue 2 and Red Starter Craft. They've uh, made them airtight, added air systems to them. So we're going to take a look at it and basically compare it to how we've done it in our previous Easy Start 2 videos. So we'll start with the easier one here. The uh, Blue 2 Craft here. Uh, all they've done is similar to what we did in our previous videos, where they just added the uh, airtight doors there and ventilation in the main hangar area. They've uh, done multiple spots for ventilation, and they've done it off to the side on one, and of course just over the door on the other, while ours we had done up into the ceiling. Uh, it does technically reduce some of the hangar size by this one block here, but it's so minimal it, it's really not going to have much of an effect on it. Uh, their door system is set up with a two-button operation on either door. And those are controlled by timer blocks. As you see, the timer block closes the interior door. And then that would trigger the open on this one. Of course, we had it already opened. So we'll go ahead and test it on the closed door here. So we'll open that back up. And we will go ahead and trigger an open here. Well, that should have triggered that to close. There we go. Huh, apparently that... Oh, there we go. Alright, so it's got time for it to uh, suck the oxygen out, obviously. Imagine if we go up to these. That's probably why they have two of them. Should be this one here. Settings. It is depressurized. This one here is also depressurized. Okay, so the one timer block that I have set up is going to close your interior door. It's going to start depressurization on both the vents. It's going to wait a few seconds and it'll open the door. And of course, I imagine the other one will do it in reverse. It'll close the door, wait a few seconds, start pressurization. And obviously there'd be no need to actually open the interior door since you do that manually yourself. I did switch it back to on. Uh, oh yeah, we have all the other doors open, that's why. And it did open the door, as you saw there in the interior. Alright, so they also put a vent inside on the opposite end of the hall, the corridor here, that we did. As you recall, we did it on this uh, end here near the engine block. They have done it, of course, further up near the hangar. And they actually expanded the armor sheath on that one side. So it gives it a bit more of an asymmetrical design at this point. Alright, you'll see the oxygen tanks they put in the floor. And the uh, ventilation into this main room here. There is no seal between this and the upper deck. And that just goes out to the exterior. They doubled up the doors on any of the exterior doorways. They haven't put any ventilation on this side either. And of course, it's just a basic seat there. We go further back into the blue ship. Uh, it's not that they had put ventilation in here as well, but apparently not. Alright, so yeah, these three rooms here have no independent ventilation. Uh, I guess they didn't want to do that, or basically didn't have the room for it in their reckoning of it. As you'll recall, in ours, we did get a independent vent in each and every room. And that is definitely something you're going to want to do with all your designs, is to make sure you have vents, especially in the key areas like this. This, you're in the bridge, and of course, well, we can't move that particular seat, but you're in the bridge here, you're sealing off these doors, so you've got uh, structural damage to those side rooms. Uh, not enough to take out your major systems, but enough where you need to close those doors so you can actually operate. You're going to suffocate in here, because, well, there's no O2 coming in. So you have to put your helmet on and actually go out to the med bay to pull more O2 tanks, and then go back into your bridge. Pressure works consistently now, and it's really great. I certainly like the look of it. You see, they put the timer blocks just right up here. 
standing next to it as part of the wall. And they fairly well blend in. It's, it doesn't really stand out too much. Alright, so now the red ship. They've done the same thing we did. They went and put the uh, three sets of airtight blast doors all over their hangar deck here. The sides are obvious, and then of course the front you just double up on like we did as well. Uh, the, you see that they put a panel near each one. Why they didn't do a single button panel, I'm not sure. Or why didn't they just do one panel and then put all the buttons on it. Because there's really no need for these excessive number of panels. They've even put them on the exterior. And it just basically operates the uh, door independently, each door set. So this one will operate this side here. And of course, same for the others as well. Alright, so let us... Well, yeah, we'll go in through here. Alright, so they kept the uh, corridor here pretty much the same. Uh, in ours, we did put a fourth door there, and then we put a separate ventilator in just for this section. You'll see that they double down on the door, so there's no actual venting into this air lock right here. But of course, once you get into the corridor, you, you're getting air from upstairs. Off on these side sections here, uh, these are not ventilated as well, but the very far end is. And it has the double door seal as well, so you're still going to lose oxygen on those double door seals, but very minimal. It's not going to be too much. And of course, with these hallway window sections here, not having ventilation in here is uh, really a disadvantage because that means, of course, just like with the blue ship, if you get trapped in here, you're going to suffocate to death. Luckily, you don't have to get to a med bay to take your helmet on and off anymore. Right, so they did put a uh, vent up here, similar to how we had it, and they had oxygen tanks there, and I imagine their oxygen generator is going to be in the walls there. I haven't actually dug for it. So we'll go further up. This is the exterior door that just doubled down on the airlock. I believe we did the same on that, since we kind of ran out of space there. And then upstairs, this is uh, not changed at all. Of course, I believe we also had a vent up here. And I believe we also segmented some of the stairwells. And I do apologize, it has been a while since we've done that video. Now this hall here is not ventilated as well. Uh, this section, of course, is right here, but this particular hallway could be ventilated easily. And it really should be, honestly, because again, if you get trapped here, you're screwed. They did put a med bay up here, and of course there's the uh, tops of the doors, which we covered up with the uh, panels. And then in the final bridge, they have the ventilator pretty much exactly where we have it. Or the vent, rather. Uh, these are single doors instead of double doors when they have the room for it. And of course your actual bridge seat. I did take a look at it to see about the cameras they were mentioning in the last update. There's actually no cameras on this particular one. So that must be on the other easy start mode that they added the cameras to the hull of the ship. Alright, so that pretty much covers the updates the developers have done on these two ships. I uh, checked the station. It is still not set up with ventilation by the developers. But we've already gone over that in the easy start 2 retrofitting tutorials. So definitely check those out and get some ideas of how you can make that station airtight, accessible, and just really fully functional in the new systems. Uh, you'll probably want to do that in creative mode just to get it ready for any survival games that you're going to start on it. And of course we do have the Easy Start 2 retrofitting that we've done uploaded on the workshop, so definitely check it out. I uh, hope that was informative for you, and of course as always, have a good day.